UND in the home lights, Western in the road, brown and gold, and we are underway here in game number two from the Ralph. Great to have you with us here on Midco Sports Network. No Nick Jones again in the lineup tonight for UND's second straight game. The team's leading score from a year ago held out. Actually, third straight game if you count last week as Jenna Tweenen comes. The Michigan contingents on this UND roster. Windling down to one is that shot. Finds the back of the net, and it's Jasper Weatherby on the power play. The rebound falls to the freshman, and North Dakota strikes first. Simplify things, get pucks to the net, get bodies to the net. You see a couple guys right in front. You got Kawaguchi, I believe it was, I don't know if it was Kawaguchi in front there. No, it was Janet Tweenen in front, and Weatherby. So again, two couple big bodies in front, and that's the first one of the year for Jasper Weatherby. We're going to play the majority of the sophomore season with a broken hand and still finished with nine goals and 21 assists. Here's Bowen now as Allison out of the box. Bowen skate again! Just lost the handle at the last minute. Puck squirts loose. Here comes Colt Conrad, tried to put the brakes on. Adam Scheel forced into a save here, and that puck Able to in. pop up over the goaltender. It's in. And it's going to be a goal for the Broncos. Rhett Kingston was involved down there. It's going to be Conrad's goal for the moment. A conversation being had with Nick Krebsbach behind the North Dakota goal. Bill, he probably would have thrown a, maybe a punch in there or something. And the game skating in. Good chance here. Big save by Shield. Carson Vance was at the top of the paint and had a free swing. Another big stop by Adam Scheel in this first period. A lot of things in there, and uh, I thought the ice was good. I mean, minus the glass issue. Few, but few glass issues, but you, you'll take that. Western coming the other way. Great chance falling to the stick. Oh, good opportunity there by Paul Washi. Andrew Pesky had to save that off the line. Now here comes Matt Kirstead the other way, taken down on his way towards the net. Corey Schooneman saying it was shoulder to shoulder. And it's kind of been an easy building for Western Michigan to come in and play. Face-off win by Conrad. One-time blast, Shield couldn't quite handle it, and the Broncos are in front. Up top to Schooneman. Patience from the senior defenseman. Back across to Allison. Shot finding the back of the net. And coming up big, 32 big saves yesterday to blank UND to win game one. That confidence has only grown here tonight, and it's carried over to the offensive ends. And now Josh Passelt finding the back of the net, bar down, and it is four to one Western Michigan. And in ways to get some pucks through, as this Western Michigan team's done a good job blocking shots. Hayden Shaw there, backhander thrown in front, blocked as always. Scorsich able to jump on top, 6-7 forward from Missouri. Good find though to Passelt, feeding it to Conrad, back to Passelt, and the Broncos make it five. Up top to Schooneman, who's got a goal tonight. Over to McGing. What a blast from Hugh McGing. That's if you're a North Dakota fan. Luke Bass, or Gabe Bass, excuse me, that one hit right off the post. Got six po power play opportunities, you know. Western had five, and so. Oh. Back of the net, that's on Matt Kirstead throwing one on frame, redirected in. So a power play goal for UND. Making it six to two. You talk about scoreboard watching, makes the final tally look just a little bit better. Well, it helps. Not sure if Gardner play. got the final touch on that one or not. I think so. And the thing is, right here, Kirsten, though, what he does is it gets the shot through. They don't. He came out and did a good job tonight as well. It's gone final. Western Michigan completes the sweep for the first time in program history over North Dakota.